at the outset uh, i welcome the bill but if uh, i take uh, chairman the house class by class class uh, z a says what is prohibited list prohibited list means the list of prohibited substances and prohibited methods specified by the agency by regulations so the prohibited list itself is subdelegated to some other authority what is going to be the prohibited list i request the government to consider and to incorporate what are all the prohibited list in the bill itself there cannot be any subdelegation on this point number 1 number 2 zh plus zh 2 zh says use means the utilization application ingestion injection or consumption by any means whatsoever by any prohibited substance or prohibited method now again the question me comes what is the prohibited substance the bill is silent what are all the prohibited substances like ndps act classifies what are all the prohibited substances this bill is silent on what are all the list of prohibited substances and who is going to decide that and this cannot be subdelegated to some other authority when this house the great parliament is deciding this this house and the parliament have to decide what are all the prohibited substances number 1 number 2 if it is considered section 4 clause 4 anti doping rule violations it needs requires further deliberation in the, into the clause 4 because the anti doping rule or the violations of anti doping rules is not categorically stated and it needs further deliberation by this house if chapter 3 is taken the national board the constitution of national board the qualification of the member is not given either for the chairman or for the members of the national board is not specified in the bill like troy and other uh, national, commissions medical council. medical council the qualifications of the members and chairman are specifically stated in the bill and the act this bill is silent about the qualification of the members and the chairman it will lead to appointment of person by the choice of the government in power this will take away the independency of the board itself so there need to be a deliberation and a insertion of the qualification of the chairman and members of the national board <coughs> then if chapter 5 class 19 is taken where the agency has reason to believe that an athlete or athlete support personnel or any other person to whom this act applies has committed anti doping rule violation any person authorized by the agency may in accordance with the provisions of the code of criminal procedure enter so and so so and so and search now it is a question of using a prohibited substance in a particular game or sports why should authority to be given a power to enter any place of the sportsman and go and trouble him and search his place when he is there in the ground he has to be subjected for the uh, anti doping um, test his house cannot be go the uh, authorities can be given a power to go and search his house or place where he is residing excessive, excessive. this will put a great mental trauma on the sports persons this has to be considered <laughs> number 1 number 2 there is already provisions under the narcotic uh, drugs and psychotropic substances how this procedure of search and seizure have to be made prohibited substances under this bill will have a different kind of a procedure namely criminal procedure code so this has to be considered by the ministry and a clear cut procedure of search and seizure have to be made though there is an appeal before the appellate uh, panel is given the recommendations of the
Standing Committee has not been considered before drafting the bill. Number one, anti-doping bill is, is the requirement of the day. It's a need of the hour. But the bill has not considered the cases where, through conspiracies, a sports person is made positive to this anti-doping test. There are conspiracies made to, make a, to fail a person from this kind of test. There is no clause or section provided for conducting an uh, investigation whether that sports person was cheated and by conspiracy he was made to positive. That has to be considered. The, uh, so many cases where through conspiracy sports persons are failed in the uh, doping test. That has to be considered number one. And the standing committee in its recommendation exhaustively stated that issues to be identified in the bill, in this bill. Number one, no provision regarding the data procured by the authorized agencies, namely the personal data protection aspect of the athletes accused of doping are not taken into account, number one. Number two, no provision for the members of the disciplinary panel or the panel or appeal panel or their removal. Third, fails to noti identify the and make provisions in respect of applicability of the bill on foreign athletes participating in India. There is no clause in, uh, in the bill about the foreign athletes who are going to participate in India. Number four, no provision regarding compensation in case of false positive tests which can harm the career of the athlete and destroy their reputation. This ministry have to definitely consider and make sufficient provisions to compensate persons due to conspiracy made false positive. Number five, seeking access to lab reports and hiring experts to interpret those reports can be expensive and time consuming and thus affecting the athlete's career in the process. So there should be a mechanism to expedite the reports to be given to the athlete and to approach the appellate panel and a time bound manner of giving the decisions of the appellate panel is must. That is absent in the bill. And no provision regarding penalties to be imposed on supplement companies engaged in contamination of supplement products, which can result in potential doping. This clause or this recommendation of the standing committee has not been considered at all in the bill. So uh, a wider consultation is required. And the recommendations of the standing committee have to be again thought of and to be incorporated in the bill. With that, I rest my Thank you. Thank you. Manya Shri Ayodhya Rami Reddy Allah Ji. Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on the National Anti-Doping Bill 